Hey, it's your girl. <clears throat> Happy Friday. And this is the first day this week I've actually had some kind of voice. A short version of the long story. One of my mother's overnight aides came in and did a shift and she had a cold. Now she was wearing a mask, but... It didn't really make a difference because she and my mom pretty much are in the same room most of the time. So my mom gets sick. For a 93-year-old who hasn't really been out of the house in several years, other than the backyard and the front yard, not a good idea. But mom is on the mend. She's doing better. And of course, if my mom gets sick, guess who's next? (coughs) (coughs) I have been sick all week. I don't know how I managed to get any work done. I really don't. Daytime, I can manage. Nighttime was a nightmare. I coughed all night. (coughs) I could not lay down. I had to sleep sitting up just so I wouldn't choke. I got a phlegm problem. I've always had a phlegm problem. So, sometimes when it gets really bad, I have to sleep sitting up. Otherwise, I will choke. So, I've been taking decongestant. I've been drinking tea. The whole nine yards. I had no voice all week. I coughed every night. All night. I've not been getting any, obviously, no sleep. And the new thing, my eyes draining mucus every morning I wake up and my left eye can't open it it was so bad so <clears throat> one of mom's other aides suggested some you know Caribbean stuff you know y'all know what I'm talking about and we got it together mommy's doing much better and now I'm trying to get over the rest of it So I've been drinking my carrot juice, pineapple, and he's the only one that's sick, by the way. Pineapple and ginger and carrot juice, cranberry juice, all mixed together. I've been drinking that concoction, tea in the morning, and and, um, decongestant at night. So I reached out to my oncologist because, of course, you know, to him the key truth and whatnot, I have to get things have to be cleared. <coughs> so I reached out to her, and the first thing she says, take a COVID test, make sure it's not COVID. Because COVID is back and, and moving around again, y'all. So I did that. Test was negative. Yay. I said, what do I do now? She said, you can take zinc. That's the first time she ever approved a supplement for me. Zinc. So I've been taking um, 25 milligrams of zinc Mm -hmm. each morning. (coughs) And it's now, like, I now feel like a little progress coming on. And um, I asked her, maybe I should take an antibiotic. But she said, since I'm not having any pain in the chest and everything seems to be in my throat and my sinuses she said it's probably um a respiratory virus that's going around and she said you really can't take any antibiotics for it (coughs) she said if you get pain in your chest or you you know having problems when you breathe then we really need to talk because you know that affects what i get for chemo Y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. That's why there was no beat in chat last week, because I couldn't talk. I literally could not talk. Um, so I'm playing catch up with all my favorite folks, you know, St. James, and I really want to know, and and um, VS Speaks Royally. I'm catching up with you guys. I'm trying to watch this stuff on replay. 
I did try to watch St. James live last night and probably fell asleep. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I got to catch a replay for what I missed. Um, so, that's what I'm going to do today. <coughs> I'm getting my laundry together. But, um, it's just a cautionary tale. It's not medical advice, by the way. Just so y'all know. This is what happens when your body has gone through this big shift and you're recovering from something beyond the normal wear and tear of life. Everything's got to be cleared. Um, I have to track my symptoms, all this stuff. It's extra work when you go through this stuff, but it's worth it. <clears throat> so hopefully this whatever this is will be gone by the weekend um i'm not counting on doing beat and chat tomorrow <clears throat> i want to make sure this voice is back where it should be but i am managing to do a little bit of work on my next <coughs> it happened one night i'm working on something special so, um, I did manage to gather some research and finish my research on that. So, I'm just putting it together. And it's going to take a while. Obviously, I can't do any narration yet, but it's getting there. <coughs> so, anyway, that's where I'm at, folks. So, y'all stay healthy. Y'all stay safe. Um, there's no garden update this week because obviously I haven't been able to do anything. Um, but hopefully next week I'll have something. My lilies are all in, all my lilies are in full bloom right now. So I've just been cutting them and bringing them into the house. Um, my herb garden was a disaster this year. Nothing came up and I have yet to make it to Home Depot to get the actual plants that I want. So I'm probably just going to retill the soil, put some more nutrients in it, and just let it be, and then probably start over again in the spring. <coughs> um, so, huh? No, I'm a, Yeah, I can't do any garden work because I'm sick. Thank you. Mm, yeah. Like I said. Yeah, I, I'm working on it. Unless it's hard. <laughs> um, yeah. So, that's it for now. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And, um, I'll be watching all of y'all. <laughs> so, don't get any into anything too crazy. And, um, I'll pick up with y'all on the next one. Take it easy.